Hey everybody, it's your favorite mythological beast, Griff, here, coming at you with what I hope is going to be the first in a series of quick Adobe Character Animator tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to make a mouth set for your character real fast while staying on model. So let's just dive right in. Okay, so I'm gonna be making these mouths in Adobe Illustrator, but you can do the same sort of thing in Photoshop. The reason I'm gonna make these mouths in Illustrator is because Illustrator uh, does give you a way to quickly change all the colors in your scene uh, all in one go. So if you decide you want the outlines of the mouths or the inside of the mouths or something about them uh, to change, you can do this quickly. You can do this in Photoshop as well, but once you're dealing with rasterized images, you're not gonna get quite as clean of a transfer. So we're gonna do all that right here in Illustrator. So the first thing I wanna do is just start drawing out the parts of my mouth. Now, in this case, I wanna focus on what is gonna be my default mouth shape. So I'll just start drawing out some vectors here, and we're gonna do this a little fast and dirty just so you get the idea of uh, what it is we're trying to achieve. And you can go ahead and polish these uh, when you go to create your own mouth shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with a basic shape here. Let's say something along these lines, and this is gonna be, we'll say the outline of my mouth. So I might wanna go ahead and just crank up the, um, the line or the stroke width a few more points like this. And I can sit here and pick at this and clean it up uh, to make it exactly what I want, but I'm not gonna bore you with that right now. Great, so that is gonna be our first shape and we can just name this something like mouth outline. I like to keep my uh, names intact uh, so that uh, it's just easier to navigate my scene. And this is gonna be my default mouth or in this case, I might call this my start mouth because we're gonna use the, the starting mouth shape to define all of our other mouth shapes. And this is gonna help us stay on model. So the next thing we might want is just some teeth. And you'll notice what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take a broad go at this. I'm not gonna try to squeeze this inside of this other shape. And you'll see why in just a little bit. I'll go ahead and adjust that some. Um, we do wanna make sure that this layer has a white fill. Uh, this layer down here, we actually wanna remove the fill entirely. So we'll go ahead and select that and we'll just set our fill here to be nothing. Okay, great. So we'll go ahead and, and just name these upper teeth. There we go, something like that. We'll go ahead and draw another layer down here. These will be our lower teeth. Just something like this. Again, I'm not trying to make super nice shapes right now. Uh, this is something I would go and pick at later on uh, once I you know, get this defined. So here we go, there's our upper teeth and our lower teeth. We'll go ahead and name these as well as lower teeth. Okay, and now the next thing we wanna make is maybe a mouth bag. Now for the mouth bag, uh, we could just make a large ellipse or whatever it is. Just think about how big your mouth is ever going to be, right? Pick a nice color for that. I might pick something over here in this zone. There we go, and we can get rid of the, the stroke on this one entirely. So we'll just pop into here and set the stroke to none. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag this layer just down to the bottom here, and you can see what's happening. So this is gonna be our, um, our mouth color, or we could even say inner mouth color, just to be more specific. Okay, so now we have our teeth and everything else. Now what I'm gonna do is just take this mouth outline, I'm gonna drag that up to the top here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that layer. Just like so. Okay, and now on this one, I'm going to clear out the stroke and I'm gonna go ahead and set this fill to something like a bright green, just so it's obvious what this is. And that's pretty fantastic. And you see how that is now fitting inside of the line layer there. And we do wanna just make sure that this itself does not have a stroke on it. Yep, there we go. Okay, great. So now all we're gonna do is take our mouth outline, our lower teeth, or I'm sorry, just our lower teeth, our upper teeth, 
our inner mouth color. We're going to collect these in a new layer. And we'll call this the mouth, or we'll just call this the inner mouth. How about that? In mouth. <clears throat> Perfect. Wonderful. Uh, drag the mouth outline up to the top. Great. So now we have the mouth. Oops. Um, we're actually going to call this one mouth mask. Sorry, the green layer. It's mouth mask. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, tick these a little target. Hit control, hit uh, the target on the mouth mask and the inner mouth. I'm going to go up to object, clipping mask, and make. And there you go. You see that you have only the stuff inside of there that you want to use. So now this is our start mouth. We're going to go ahead and grab it. We're going to duplicate the start mouth. And maybe we'll call this something like ah. So we're going to create our ah shape. Now we only have two layers that we need to edit in order to create our new shape. So we'll start with the little outline here. And let's say we want to make an ah. Uh, when you make an ah, your jaw drops. Ah. The inside of your, or the corners of your mouth will come in a little bit. This is like squashing and stretching. So the corners of the mouth will always kind of squeeze in as your, as your jaw drops to take up that space. And then we're going to go ahead and edit this here. And if you like to, you can actually lock up some of these layers. It'll make it easier to uh, grab just the two layers that you're going to want to edit. As your jaw drops, your teeth here, your lower teeth and your tongue are going to come down. Boom. Till you get something like this. And there you go. Now let's stop and take a look at a file that I've taken a little bit further and we'll go over some more principles here. I do recommend uh, using this method here and creating all of your mouth shapes in place. Uh, this way your top teeth will always be in the same spot. And this is important because as you know, your, your top teeth don't move when you talk. They don't go up and down. Uh, what, they only go up and down when your head moves, right? But your jaw uh, has those lower teeth connected. So whenever your jaw opens, the lower teeth will travel with that. Okay, so here is a much more elaborate mouth shape, uh, mouth set that I made. This has got all the phonemes as well as a surprised and a smile shape. Uh, I made all these the same way and I did explode them out here just so you can see everything all at once. Now, here's something to keep in mind. Um, once you use this method, if you were to directly import this file into Adobe Character Animator, you're going to see some very strange results because Adobe Character Animator isn't going to respect the masks inside of Adobe Illustrator. So what you're going to want to do is uh, create a new or save this file as, and I've already saved this file as uh, this uh, mouth shapes F. And in this file, the only difference is I've gone ahead and I've moved them all to this origin point here. So they're all sitting on top of each other and I've rasterized all these layers. So rasterizing means we're going to take all the vector art and we're going to just bake that down to a raster image, just pixels at this point. So to do that, if we're over here in our original file, uh, we're just going to, and actually let me just do, do this for you right here. So here we are in our original source file. I'm going to save this as, and we'll just uh, make a backup of this. Boom. And another thing right here you want to pay attention to is this says version Illustrator 2020. And I just brought this up with the character animator team the other day. Um, so I'm sure uh, someone's working on a resolution. But I noticed that when I save it as Illustrator 2020, Character Animator is unable to read the file. So for now, just make sure you save this as something like Illustrator CC Legacy. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Great. So now we have our working file, uh, or the file that we're actually going to use for our puppet. So over here, you see I have all these different layers. Let's go ahead and grab our M1. And so I like to do this as a series of shapes. So I'll have more than one M shape. And the reason I do this is so that I get a nice smooth transition using cycle layers in Character Animator. So we're going to make sure this is selected by clicking this target here. We're going to go to Object and we'll go to Rasterize. When you do this, make sure you tag Transparent, hit OK, 
and boom, it goes ahead and it rasterizes your image. And now you've got your first shape uh, ready to go. So you are gonna wanna go through and do that to all of your shapes. I find this whole process took me about uh, one hour actually to make all these shapes and it wasn't bad. And uh, just the real benefit is that, you know, I stayed on model, the teeth were always the same size, uh, the upper teeth always stayed in the same place and sort of the relationship between the all, all the shapes um, uh, made sense at the end. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final file. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Character Animator. We have our mouth shapes working just fine. And hey, there I am. How's it going, everybody? Uh, so to set this up, all I did was I imported that, that baked down set of mouth shapes, that rasterized file. I go over here to the rig panel and you'll see all these mouth shapes sitting in here. Now for me, I'm pretty much ignoring this start shape, but I'm leaving it in there uh, in case I wanna go and create new shapes later on, that's available to me. Uh, but pretty much all of these for me are gonna have these in-between shapes. So I don't know if you know this or not, but you can actually multi-select here, woo, e, ah, uh, s, d, o, r, and smile. And all these are going to have uh, multiple shapes associated with them. You'll go down here to the behaviors, and you'll click the plus and you're just going to add a cycle layers behavior and that's going to add it to all of these all at once uh, for me i made sure i set this to two frames advance every two frames uh, you can set this to one or whatever feels right for your character uh, you want to check forward and reverse so it's going to cycle through the layers to get to the final m for instance and then cycle backwards into a neutral pose uh, and then you're gonna wanna make sure it holds on the last layer in case like your character wants to go mmm and hold that mmm for a long time. And that's pretty much it. You're all set to go here and you've got a working set of mouths. All right, everybody, I hope that was uh, fun and informative and I look forward to seeing you uh, quickly blow through those mouth shape sets uh, using this technique. Please go ahead and catch me on Twitter, here on YouTube, Instagram, anywhere you can find Griffin Moore and uh, go ahead and uh, leave me some feedback. If you find a method that makes this a little bit faster, a little bit easier for you, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and this content, those likes are always appreciated. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be informed as soon as I make a, a new video. And if you want to lend your support, there are many ways you can do that. Uh, one of my favorite ways is to catch me on Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime, you do get one free Prime subscription per month on Twitch. So you will have to stop by at least once a month, say hi, and drop that sub again. Uh, but it's totally free to you. It really helps out my channel and it helps to support the content that I'm making here. All right. Thank you again so much and have a fantastic day.